Come on, Buff. Let's go this way. Buffy. That worked well. Hey guys, it's Dave, Savior in the Sanctuary. We're, um, we're down a little bit of water here. Another B-I-N-J. Come on. All right. We're actually going to go out and do a little bit of weeding. Um, we've got about an hour before the sun really hits. This way, baby girl. See? That's a work in progress. Need more dirt. Come on. Buffy, come here. Not in the road. Whoa. Sometimes. Come on, girl. Give me five seconds. Uh, but anyhow, the bane of all banes. Blackjack, I gotta get that out of there. This garden, this garden recover naturally. Matter of fact, I might have to cut those pathos. I, I, I keep them, I limit them to one tree or so. Once again, the ground, they go nuts. You ready? You ready? Come on. Come on up here. All right, first off, I got to get these out of the way. Oh, this one grew up fast. That's the arms are breaking. By the way, we've got piles of tomatoes here. That's a tomato. That's a tomato. That's broadleaf grass. All right, on this one, we're doing all right. Another B.I.N.J. Another. Another? Oh, there she is. Come on. Come here. All right, this is where I started. Another? Come here. Come here. All right. I want you to stay over here. Buff? Stay over here. All right, this is what I'm doing. All I'm doing is... I'm going to try to get all this out. Now, she has found the other spot that cleared out. And I have already cleared out. The big almighty ones are the ones that pop up that get really tall and really annoying really quick. And they've started ever since working. There's one there. Now that we've been using that. Wait a minute. It's good I saw that. This is like a These guys, if you even touch them, look at this tip on them. Right here. That's a tip that goes right into you. Same thing here. You don't want to work too close with them. I like my agaves, but they don't like me. I like that really cool dog who selects you out to bite. I think he's really cool.
right, I just wanted you to see what happens when you, you know, it's about maybe 30 minutes of weeding. You can tell I got a lot of stuff out here. That's Virginia creeper root all down there, all that brown stuff. Pretty bad. It's been there for a while. It's quite a bit more in there. But uh, that was that little area right there. And you can tell I didn't do anything here. And it's filled in with weeds. The agave. Um, it's a packy something. It's a Madagascar palm. If you notice, it has lots of spines. You don't want to screw with that. And of course, right next to it is the blackjack, my worst. Um, but anyhow, coming back to us. On this side, I pretty much got it up to the Kuntis. Those are Kuntis. That's agave. Gavi, variegated agave. They're taking off. My, this used to be an aloe bank, and we after the hurricane, I think the tractors went through here a couple. A skid steer went through here a couple of times. Um, yeah, in spite of guidance, they were gonna do what they wanted to do, which is why we're recovering gardens. And leaving others to go fallow for a long time because we just, uh, they messed up 35 years or 25 years of stuff of work. Okay, this was a wall. Uh, as I go through, I think I'm going to reset the wall. But uh, yeah, this is where we're going. All right, what I'll do next is I'll take the, the tractor up here. And I'll mow really low along this edge I've already established. Show it. Uh, I don't use mulch. Uh, we've used mulch before. I just... I don't. <laughs> it doesn't really give us any... Around here it's mostly decorative, not... not uh, uh, really good decomposing type. And that's the type of mulch I would use anyhow, which would basically be uh, decomposing uh, wood and stuff. I do throw pieces of wood and stuff on there, so you'll see gardens of mine, you'll see the wood left behind because that's my version of mulch, I guess. Uh, did I miss something? Yeah, I missed a couple. That looks like Virginia creeper to me. Oh, that's a broken one. Is this broken? Yeah, let's get him out of here. Anyhow, that's this side. Now you look at this side. So, wow, it looks pretty good. And you start coming over. This was the before. <laughs> you saw the before, but you start looking over here. Start seeing the weeds go all the way through. This is really not too bad. It'll take me about five seconds. But things like this. So those weight. Those are those. This is that blackjack I hate so much. And this is a big old piece of grass. I forget what they're called. I, I want to say nut grass, but they're not. And then you can see the mushrooms in between. And the reason why they're so tall here um, is I really can't mow up this because this is an old pine tree I fell down. You see how fast it took me to do that? Okay. So. And these guys here, they're creepy as hell. They, um, but you can get them out. And they lay down, they grow up and fall over and grow from there. And then, of course, my, these guys will have for a long time, I know that. But at one point, I had them really under control. I'm going to use the, uh, excuse that I always use before the hurricane. In reality, we built this garden. Oh, here's another blackjack. I didn't even see it. We built this garden as like a retirement garden. And I just retired. Well, I didn't want to at that point. Saw no other choice in order to get this stuff done. And
Now, if you noticed, there's metal in some of the spots. There used to be a... Another Hurricane Ian story. But it's actually the guys coming in to clean up after the Hurricane Ian. That's a, When you look at this stuff, we got nailed in Hurricane Ian, but real nail came in the guys trying to recover. They were trying to take down the trees and stuff, and they, um, or pick up the trees that were right down. And they just went over everything. At first, I, they asked me if, what we could do and how we could do it. It was nice and nice. And then, just thing you know, um, pots and stuff were getting destroyed. And, and I did get permission for them to do something in one of our outward areas, but man, they went after everything. So. We couldn't get to this house for like five days. Okay, I gotta stop because I got other things to do. A piece of wood that this is from the pines over here. They're falling apart right now, so it's not good for me to be over here. So you won't see a lot of <sighs> fixing garden videos. It's the piney forest. It's got a lot of plants in it and stuff, but. I don't want to be there with a tree like that. But over here, I'm almost to the blackjacks I love. There's a big one right there. Yes. This is a milkweed while I welcome them everywhere except for right here. Of course, with a agave sitting right here. All right, I got to stop. I actually got stuff to do that involves none of this. So, this is Dave from Saving Our Sanctuary. And this garden's getting better. And we got to name this garden. We never named this one. Called it a middle garden once. I'm going to call it the Kunti Garden. Those are all Kuntis. Okay, so yeah, Kunti Garden. Looks like lots of big Jotrophus. Oh, never mind. Jotropha Garden. Now, oh, Kunti Jotrophy. Jakunti. Jakunti. In our Jakunti Garden. <laughs> all right. This is Dave Xavier Sanctuary, and I'm out.